Hey Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for October 11th through the 13th. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below Aquarius. I do have personals open right now. It's a deal I have going on. It's a three question video read. It's 25-25. You get it within 48 hours, okay? This deal does close today though, October 10th at 10 p.m. Eastern time. All right, so everything's in the description if you are interested, of course. Um, we're going to go ahead and begin and see what we got here for you. What do we have for Aquarius here for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? What do we have for Aquarius? Okay. Starting off with a little bit of a heavy energy here, Aquarius. Um, for Friday, some of you could have some Scorpio, Aries, or Capricorn in your chart. Or maybe you're connecting with one of those signs on some level here. All right. Saturday, it looks like the energy is a little bit lighter. Um, Sunday, good, good. Well, that's a big turnaround in comparison. That is crazy. So, Aquarius, I want to let you know this here. I'm going to read the cards and you're going to be like, ugh. But just wait, okay? Just please stick around. You've got the tower. That's your starting card, okay? I feel like something may go down, whether this may be a machine or... Um, you know, whatever the case may be here with this tower, I feel like it's work related because you've got the queen of pentacles right here as well. That's why I feel like it's work related, especially, you know, three of pentacles over here on the bottom. We got uh, this Capricorn energy here too with the devil, uh, you know, which can be like restrictions. I, I feel like access might be limited to something or someone like gets locked out of something at work. Like there's, there's weird energy going on here. I feel, um, on Friday. Okay. And there may be a person who's looking for someone to blame, all right? And I do feel as if someone could, someone could point the finger at you or like, and for a small portion of you, this could have to do with a love situation where it's like, it's sort of giving me that energy of somebody cheated on you and they're blaming you for it. It's that kind of vibe here, Aquarius. It's wild. Um, you know, somebody's trying to blame you for something and I feel that this could be worrying you, but I really don't think that it should. Um, I'll tell you why here in a second, but, um, you know, it feels for most of you like it's work related, but like I said, it could be related to a situation where somebody's trying to turn something around on you for something that they did, right? Some of you, this could be a woman, um, with that queen of pentacles energy, she might have dark hair, but, uh, doesn't have to, you know, I feel like it's work related for a lot of you though. Somebody trying to pin something on you, um, or get you wrapped up in some kind of chaos, get you caught up in some kind of chaos here. Um, that really doesn't, uh, have anything to do with you. Now, Saturday's energy, you have the five of wands. It seems like this is still being talked about. Okay. I feel like you could be getting phone calls about it. I feel, I do, Aquarius, I do feel like you might be asked some questions here. Okay. Um, and it seems like there could be, I feel like it could be something kind of serious, you know, and I think that someone's job is at risk, but, um, and I feel like this, this questioning process, um, I do think that it's like necessary, you know, it's not necessarily people thinking and believing that this is you. It's just trying to get to the bottom of something. Right. Um, and that's just for those of you where it is work related. Um, for others of you, I do feel like somebody could be like, well, I cheated because I thought you were cheating or, you know, it's something crazy like that going on here. Like somebody is like doing a weird little tit for tat for some of you here. And, um, whatever it is that they're pretending you did, like it didn't happen. You know, and they know it too. They know it too. We got this Knight of Swords showing up, defensive energy. I feel like somebody's story's not adding up or timing is not adding up here. And I feel like you're going to call it out. And Two of Pentacles. As soon as I pulled this, I was like, am I seeing a shift here? Am I seeing like <clears throat> the tables turn, you know? And Pentacles typically represent like work, money, business, but it's also tan like the tangible things, you know, and I feel like this is something that can be seen. This is something that can be proven, you know, um, <clears throat> on your end and your favor. So I honestly feel like somebody's going to get caught up in something like trying to blame you for something or pin something on you. It's that kind of energy here, whether it's work related or not. Um, I feel like there are receipts plain and simple Aquarius. I feel like there are receipts and they're going to be shown. This could be a Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn. I got Gemini. I've got fixed energy. Um, Cancerian energy, and then Leo with the sun down here. This is why I wanted you to stick around, because Wheel of Fortune is showing up. After whatever this shift is on Saturday, this Two of Pentacles, like whatever that is, where things are like added up, you know, like weighing certain facts, weighing like times and things of that nature, weighing dates, whatever the case may be here, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Things start to shift. 
like drastically. Like the Wheel of Fortune is like a big unexpected change, a big unexpected turn taking place here. So yeah, and I think that's what that Two of Pentacles is. It's like kind of foreshadowing this like major turn of events here in this situation. The chariot showing up, that is a huge victory for you. Some of you, there could be some travel on Sunday, something going on with that. Like, sorry, this is so specific, you guys, but the sun, happiness, high vibrations, joy, new beginnings. I feel like you are getting out of a situation and I feel like you have that right because it looks like it really had nothing to do with you and somebody was trying to place blame or pin something. It's that kind of energy here. For some of you, this is you like genuinely moving on from something, you know? And uh, so I feel like Sunday you could be like blocking a person, closing that cycle out, whatever the case may be here. Um, there's too much like combat, like you're realizing you're never going to get the truth out of this person pretty much. So you just have to close the cycle out. Um, some of you could have considered like working on this and you know, if they were willing to um, express the truth to you and figure out a way to work through it. But it's almost as if um, Aquarius, like this person's not willing to admit to anything. It seems like it's just lies on top of lies and they just don't care, right? So um, that's the energy that I get here. You just wanting to move on from that. And Sunday looks like a really good day. It looks like victory. Some of you, some travel, like I said. Uh, could be spending some time in the sun here for some of you as well. Spending some time outside. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was an insane turnaround. I was so, not gonna lie to you guys, I was stressed at the beginning of this reading with that tower. Like, gosh, tower's the first card out. Are you kidding? Then we get the devil. Then we got the five of wands. I'm like, oh my goodness. You know, it, it's just crazy how Sunday turns things around for you. It's wild, Aquarius. So that's what I'm seeing here for you. I hope that this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be. Details are down below. For anybody who's interested in personals, like I said, I do have that deal going on. It's a three question video read. It's 2525. You do get that within four. 48 hours, all right? But that deal does close today, October 10th at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Everything's down below, but if this is where we part, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.